Hello everyone, in this short video I want to talk about um, simulation in uh, close simulation in real-time environment like in games so uh, recently you know that there is a uh, there is a technology called ML Deformer and ML Deformer can do simulation in real time and I tried to use it, but it actually turned out to be super hard to uh, set it up and the quality was not as satisfying. So I came across another um, plugin for Unreal, which is called, um, I believe that it's called, called uh, Pose Driver. And this is how actually MetaHuman works. Um, if I show the actually let me yeah this is um exactly the same thing that works with MetaHuman and for example it has different poses and for different poses it has uh, it uh, moved the different joints to um to make the body movement natural, body, body deformation. But the interesting thing is that it actually you can assign blend shape to, uh, to your geometry based on different poses. So I came, uh, uh, I come up with this idea that if I assign different blend shape, maybe I'm able to make an auto simulated cloth, which is very, um, lightweight that and um, suitable for game environment because one problem with ML deformer is that it's kind of heavy and it's not uh, kind of heavy and it's still in beta and um, basically not very suitable for game environment so not only for game environment I'm just I'm just talking in general it's a good idea to have this um, and I also noticed that ML Deformer has some problem for example if the character's character is standing still some, some random wrinkle appear which actually is not high quality but with this technique I believe that it's going to be um, without any problem so um, so how it works I assigned this pant, which as, uh, actually as, um, is a skin to a metahuman skeleton, five blend shape, and five blend shape is not a huge amount of blend shape, but look how natural it looks. You see the blend shape based on the pose, and here another blend shape for knee, and the interesting thing is they kind of work together as you can see if I uh, move uh, actually the cloth can stretch the other side of the cloth while the knee uh, blend shape is applied to so take a look at this you see that these wrinkles and I can apply the other blend shape and it stretches the other side in a natural way and if the character is in a sitting position another blend shape is applied and you see that and it's simulated <coughs> so now I'm going to assign an animation it's a actually it's a dance that I downloaded from Mixamo so if you want to see the character here's the house dance <coughs> and let's take a look how this simulation work together And now I'm going to <coughs> remove the blend shapes 
to see how it looks without any of these wrinkles. This is the, actually the way that you see in games and how the uh, pants is supposed to skin to the skeleton. But with these blend shapes, you see there is a big difference. And we can argue that it's actually suitable for um, making cinematic too. And um, because for a pant or a cloth like this, they don't, they don't move as much. We just need to introduce some wrinkle to have some uh, natural simulation. And also, I'm going to add more poses to refine the um, to refine this um, technique and I will update you and I will show you more of this stuff and by the way obviously you can export the whole thing to Unreal and it works as a post-process animation thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for next update about this